empathy the ability to understand situation from another's perspective exactly this is what we will be speaking in today's presentation so we will understand that find nuances between sympathies and empathies and probably if we can understand a situation from a different perspective as what it can be encompassing all about so productive conversation through empathy is what we will be talking around it now this is where we need to understand the emotional intelligence the productive conversation the empathy which is not the ownership of it it is somewhere somewhere down the corner somebody else is going through the problem and you seem to feel the problem as if you were the person in the context so the circle of concerns concerns and the discussion thereof so basically through empathy what we can look into it first and foremost thing is the emotional intelligence the emotional intelligence will let you know as to how you should properly react and convert an adverse full situation into a favorable one so that is what productive conversations should be all about it it is all about being empathizing with the other fellow the other person in or the other parties in question understand their circle of concerns and before proceeding to the next discussion so empathy not ownership now this is what we need we need to understand as to what exactly it does all about it remember a person is going through a situation now this situation can be happy pleasant or stressful in case if it is happy you you seem to get elated but in case the a situation is stressful or distressing altogether but what happens you do not know how to react now if you have to put yourself into the purse into the sh shoes of the person that is undergoing such a stressful situation and feel it the way he or she would be going through it exactly that is what empathy at the same time remember you are just feeling it from their perspective you are not the resultant impact or not suffering the recuperation of this stressful situation so how do you get it is what we will be talking around it the first part of empathy is what exactly it is all meant by it is the great liberator the ability to understand the feelings of other i keep on saying empathy and sympathy are two different distinct qualities sympathy is as a person what how do i feel but empathy is as if i was the person undergoing a particular situation or the concern now that is where the feelings of other has to be embodied all together without experiencing those feeling as your own is the great liberator demonstrating compassion without infringing on your beliefs that exactly is what is meant by empathy out here so empathy concerns are what it is a science let's say the neurology of empathy or an arts from the eyes of the other let us try to balance with the empathy means science or an art as in science the argument goes when we give or receive empathy we produce neurotransmitters oxytocin as the case might be again i repeat the neurotransmitter oxytocin it's the emotional bond that comes about it <laughs> oxytocin creates a sense of belief sense of brotherhood brotherhood sense of camaraderie cooperation and trust among the parties leading with empathy can reduce the likelihood most importantly likelihood of conflict or moment of distortions or any misplaced notion that comes around it this is one of the best impact of empathy is all about it now i have uh, got the concerns as to how to fight it from the stress as in with an art thing what do we go around it let us please with this improve your social skills.com it says what empathy is an art of seeing the world as if someone else is watching it or viewing it when you have empathy it means you can understand what a person is feeling in a given moment understand that his actions make sense to him is what empathy is all about it this has been noted down from improve your social skills
gmail.com empathy and sympathy as i have been trying to tell it to you innumerable times empathy is when you understand the feelings of another person another party but do not necessarily share them why am i saying share them because you will not face the consequences sympathy is on the other hand is where you will actually talk about everything is the sharing feelings of another and make them as of your own it is when you share your feelings as you when you believe that what could have been the better way to react and so on so forth is what sympathy is all about it empathy how do you get it building empathy understanding yourself understanding others and non verbal empathy is all what we are looking into it this is what is been stated that improve your social skill dot com being yourself being with others being verbal and non verbal continuum at the case can be so first and foremost thing is to understand dissect yourself dissect yourself because only when you understand yourself will you be will you be able to understand others and empathize whether being the words being spoken or feelings being shared or you are actually Con continuing the motions from where you would have actually impacted those feelings that comes comes around it. So this is what permission that you give it to yourself. Give yourself the permission to experience the feeling that you have. Yes, this is prime of importance. You need to understand that on a fundamental level, emotions are an integral part of you, and you have to accept. and understand them if you understand what it is like when you feel an emotion you will be able to be able to understand and interact with the person feeling the similar something as in what is going to happen time and again is what we are looking out here so give yourself the permission to experience the feeling on a fundamental level emotions are an integral part of you and when you feel an emotion you will better understand what the person is going through find with others perspective this is what i keep on telling find the other perspective in any moment imagine what it would be like to be that other person the other person who is at the fulcrum of the situation probably going through the most stressful or the most pleasant experience of his or her life as the case might be how elated or depressed the person is going through it is only the person in the middle of the circumstances will be able to notify can you be the person during interaction ask yourself how does this situation appears to the other person ask yourself what are the thoughts what are the feeling that is criss crossing his or her mind every now and then rather than trying to find out how the other person sees things we try to convince them to see things the way we see it instead of accepting that the other person will always see things differently we get angry at them for not seeing things the same we do non verbal in harmony there is a non verbal element to responding to the empathy as well your words your non verbal signals work together to communicate without non verbal empathy you just lack the authenticity this is of prime importance the way you connect with other person is what strengthens the bond between two per two person or parties all together and the non verbal bonding the non verbal signals is what we work in harmony with one another let us understand the continuum fact of empathy in fact if we look into the positive and negative action this been positive this been negative you look at the positive side it is all about empathy but in the negative side it is all about ignorance ignorance because you are not aware of it selfishness because you are aware of it and still feeling ignorance this is where it is wrong and then probably move to the next concept called indifference wherein you are knowing about the thing you are actually feeling about the thing but you are not acting on to it and that is what the indifference word is are coming across it 
comes the next fulcrum of which we call the sympathy. Probably in this stage, not only you know about the actions, you know about the feelings and probably are expressing the same thing to the other fellow or the parties altogether. But it is in the empathy situation you don't express. It's a non-verbal action because you actually are going your, yourself under the emotions and trials and tribulations that the other person is actually going through. And this is what we call the empathic continuum is all about it from being a now action oriented to be completely involved in the situation this is what we look into empathy as the case might be let us understand emotional intelligence emotional intelligence is increasing the personal well-being increasing the leadership ability increasing the team performances this is what entails the emotional intelligence is all about you. Remember, we are talking about emotional quotient, emotional quotient, which are all of authentic and the skills being present in the leadership. As a leader, you got to take decisions and decision making skill needs to be improvised, decreased occupational stress and reduced staff turnover. This is what we are looking every now and then. And we need to see it, find it out what works and what does not work this is what we are looking at times all the way every way this is what is the requirement for the day is all about it remember increased personal well-being increased leadership increased team performances increased decision making skills and increased occupational stress and reduced turnover is the objective altogether that needs to be taken care for and that is what we are looking out here emotional quotient defined emotional intelligence or emotional quotient is defined as our ability or capacity or skills to identify assess and things like that which has been required in the emotional being we need to understand those groups time and again. Yes, what we will be looking out here is what is true and every now and then. Emotional understanding is of healthcare professional sees the problem from the point of view of a patient respect recognition fully acceptance of the patient as a person is all about it remember the patient might be at not only at a medical emergency might go through emotional emergencies most goes must be going through a financial emo emergencies must be going through uh, so many thought processes that might be creeping around it. It is a authenticity, honesty, real expression of views without hypocrisy, warmth and unconditional positive recognition. Self exposures and healthcare professional report is what we are looking at time and again. And that is what is to be done. We need to understand what is self exposures. We need to understand how we go around it. As as in the healthcare professional is concerned. Understand versus manage empathy and emotional intelligence work together to produce long lasting relationship. Empathy allows the leaders to understand while emotional intelligence allows them to communicate that understanding please remember this thing one thing is to experience it one thing is to ex understand it and one thing is to communicate the same at the same level of emotion and that is what is em empathy is all about it remember empathy and emotional intelligence works in tandem with one another and that is what we are looking forward to so let us understand what are the competencies that needs to be built. There are emotional and social intelligence that needs to be taken care of time and again by all of us. It is the emotional beings being self-awareness, self-management, social awareness and relationship management. What are we talking about it? It is all about your society. It is all about your relationship. It is all about everything that comes around here. That is what we need to do. We need to 
point it out every now and then so let us understand what are the competencies that we go around it about the empathy part about the organization part about the relationship part about the teamwork part about being the role that we play be the role of a manager or a coach or an interpersonal leadership skills that are the competency it's basically the uh, the relation co relation quotient with which we can build it up, the social capital that we can uh, understand if any of that capital, if we can cultivate and have a good, well-known feeling about ourselves, our reputations have been going strong and that exactly is competences is all about it. Let us understand self-awareness. It's nothing but the way you understand your own emotions, the way you understand your own action, the way you understand your own performances, what was the right thing that you did? What was the wrong thing that you did? If you can appreciate those point of views every now and then. So we need to understand this is what we are looking at it, everything. Self-management is an emotional self-control, the ability to keep disruptive emotions and impulses in check, maintaining our effectiveness under stressful or probably hostile condition. Achievement orientation, striving to meet or exceed a standard of excellence, looking for ways to make it do things better in a brighter fashion, set up challenging goals, take calculated risks, positive outlook, the ability to see positive in people, situation and events, and persistent in pursuing goals despite the obstacles and setbacks. Adaptability, flexibility in handling changes, juggling multiple demands, and adapting our ideas or acceptance thereby we come to social awareness remember social awareness is all about the societal setup that one works around it in the corporate ladder as in a professional work front it is the organization in the awareness on a personal work front it is the empathy remember the ability to sense others feelings and perspective taking an active interest in their concern and picking up the cues is what empathy is all about it wherein the organizational awareness is the ability to read the group emotional currents and power relationship identifying influencers networks and organizational dynamics the crux of the situation of being empathizing is all your wonderful relationship that you start on to build around it first and foremost thing is the influence for influencing part wherein the ability to keep a positive impact on others persuading them, convincing them, and probably gaining their trust is what it matters the most. As a coach and a mentor, the ability to foster a long-term learning or development of others by giving feedback, guidance, and support. Then comes the inspirational leadership, the ability to inspire and guide individuals and groups towards a meaningful vision of excellence and bring out the best in others. Teamwork is the ability to work with others towards the shared goal, participating actively, sharing responsibility and rewards, and contributing to the capability of the team thereby. Remember what we are looking as in leaning was what would have happened if more leaders with a mindset that knew a little more about the people about their own people, about the people who are sitting across the table, about the people with whom he or she is dealing with, care a little more about their needs and show cause their, show cause their strength and give them opportunity to succeed. We need to showcase everything out here. No more do you know that most important and of each of your team members do you know what they are like how do they like to pass their uh, leisure times 
do you know what are their apprehensions in their life do you know what are the difficulties they are coming across so you need to understand them in order for them to achieve their goals show your support encourage them and always allow them to give it their best shot how do you motivate them this motivation part totally depends on being empathetic towards them care more the learning is very simple we all get distracted but when we are meeting with the team members or an employee or anyone for that matter focus help that person feel that you are the most or that they are the most pertinent person in the organization the most important person in the room showcase more look for opportunities outside your group where they can showcase specific strengths that are needed and will benefit the greater organization identify opportunities to help them out grow as a person and grow as a leader talking about the circle of concern now this is a circle which we need to expand always as on when on basis and this circle of concern should be expanded on an intentional basis why this is the concerns of mutual trust this is the concerns of mutual respect of understanding different perspective of seeing things from different point of view a uh, environment a motivating environment a uh, inspiring environment a uh, positive environment needs to be created wherein everybody will be encouraged to give their feedback give their thought process it is up to the leader to tell up evoke the safety and assist them all together a leader promoted group participation allowing all participants to have a voice at the table and fostering space in which change can occur a leader is mindful of who is in the circle of concern looks for ways to connect and expand it expansion expanding a circle is the way to create foster and space of changes to expand your circle of concern we are predisposed to empathize with others in our own social group we think of those groups as circles because circles can be confining and exclusive we also have people who are outside definitely outside our circle remember when i say the circle of concern needs to be expanded and expanded continuously on an intention basis be intentionally expand your concern this is what i said through empathy allow people in your circle who may disagree with you allow people in your circle who do not like you allow people in your circle who with who do not even understand the principles on which you people were be intentional let yourself be transparent let yourself be read by other people and only then they will have en enough confidence that will be building upon them to trust you remember to zoom in and zoom out listen closely and tend to those immediate circle as in with the timetable that we go around and in cases of zoom out take the big picture consider the perspective of people you interact with it include those who are vulnerable or who are getting the most affected or who are being affected in a negative connotation in a adverse fashion develop concern for people who live in a different cultures different communities different background have different kind of struggle than that has been experienced by you all together appreciate every iota of support that you can garner around it be intentional in incorporating everybody within your group productive conversation will then happen productive conversation will happen when there are less amount of dispute when there are less amount uh, more amount of school communities and there are team participation that comes around it every now and then this is what we are looking into it characteristics goal driven or relationship effective communication forward facing and open mindfulness these are the essential characteristics of uh, of being empathetic towards you this is what we are looking around it as in goal driven relationship effective communication forward facing and open
in mindfulness we come to the last slide for the day is eliminating the mind chatter the narrative that goes in your head removing the noise around here building up an ag agenda having a focused ag agenda i have deliberately used the word called intentional be intentional in your approaches active uh, actively actively listed ask question express release and repair state your affairs clearly remove the noises build the agenda actively list what you want it to be done ask the question express release and repair and i'm sure you will forge a definitive strong bond among the team members thank you for watching this video i'm sure you must have gained some sort of insight and to empathy thank you very much once again